Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Struan. I'm not a real chef, but I can make one hell of a cottage pie. Today's recipe has been designed for four people, or for two very fat people. It's an age-old recipe that has been passed down through my family for generations. For this recipe, you will need 5 mid-sized potatoes, you need 500 grams of minced beef, 1 onion, a packet of close-cut mushrooms, garlic. My preferred choice is very lazy garlic. I like this because I am very lazy myself and it's in a jar. And I like jars. Oh. <laughs> Mixed herbs. Some tomato puree. One beef stock cube. One carrot. We're very lucky as this is the largest carrot in the whole of Scotland. We call it the Mega Carrot. Vegetable oil. Some cheese. Preferably cheddar or parmesan. But not enam. None of that. And most importantly, a bottle of red wine. My preferred choice is Australian red. Okay, so first off we have the potatoes, we're going to peel them, like so. Try not to make too much of a mess, but you know, just uh, just go with it. Next, chop them in half, then half again. Utensil of choice for this is a knife, preferably a sharp one. Now, put them in a pot of boiling water and leave for 20 minutes. Next, peel the onion. Now chop in half, or in two if you prefer, and slice and dice. A little known fact about onions is that they were actually discovered by Norman Onion in 1981 when he accidentally bit into an out of date apple. Next up we have the mushrooms. If you don't have mushrooms you can actually use mouse's ears like that. Now we move on to the mega carrot. First, peel. I'm good at peeling as this is how I shave my wife's legs. Remember to chop off both ends, then chop away into little coins like that. And we're going to half the coins, and we're going to quarter them, like so. Look at that. Oh, where did that one go? Next up, we have the vegetable oil into the pan, like so, and just shugle it around. Lovely bit of shugal in there into the pan with the oil. And in goes the onions. Next up, we have the mouse's ears, or mushrooms as I like to call them. In they go. Look at that. Oh, every last one. In it goes, like that. And just give it a nice stir around the pan, like so. Get all those flavours going away together. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Next we have the very lazy garlic out of my trusty jar and just get that going around the pan like so. All the flavours. Next up we have the mincemeat and it goes like so and just get that mixed in with the onions and the mushrooms and the garlic and just wait until that mince is browned like so. We're only about halfway there but next up is mixed herbs. And mixed herbs, just a little sprinkling right round the mixture. Then we add in the carrots, that mince is browned a bit more and finally we have the peas! Look at that! All coming together just beautifully now. Lovely. Then we add in a little bit of tomato puree. Remember that one squirt is the equivalent to one, 183 tomatoes, so try not to put too much of it in in one go. But just get it all going in there. Look at that, lovely flavours. Next up we have the Australian red. You treat yourself to a little drop of that before adding into the mixture, just right round. Get it all going, all those flavours, touched up with a little bit of pepper there. Isn't that fantastic? All shugled again round the pan. So after boiling the kettle, we'll add in the stock cube. 200ml of that and just give it a little stir in a glass jug. Like that, and then just again add that to the mixture. Get all those flavours really coming together. Isn't that beautiful? It's a work of art. So in that goes, and then we're just going to shugle it around again, like that. Just, and, and the flavours really are intensifying now, it's just beautiful. So there we have it, our mixture's simmering, like so, that's the mince. Looks fantastic. We've got the potatoes on the go as well. So after that, you've done all the hard work, you can put your feet up, 
want another glass of that cheeky Australian red, Australia's favourite, then why not read a book? Uh, the book I've gone for today is 50 Envelopes by Andy G, and it's a thriller in my eyes. Look at that lovely red wine there. Yep, I'm impressed. So after 10 minutes of just relaxing on the sofa, we're going to drain the potatoes now into the colander like so, and give them a good shugle as well. Back into the pot and then we'll add in just a, a cheeky knob of butter there. Before we put 100ml of milk into a glass jug, into the microwave it goes for 10 seconds. And it should come out quite nice. Look at that, just slightly heated but not enough to burn ourselves. And then it goes to the potatoes. And we're just going to use a fork. We alternatively could use a masher but uh, because of budget cuts we haven't got one. So we're just going to use a fork instead. Look at that going lovely, lovely. And that's the mash really coming together. So after simmering for roughly 10 minutes, the mince is all browned and the flavours have come together, we're just going to pour that straight into the dish like so. Just sort of spread it around like that, get it nice and even, nice and flat. Just like a, a little bit like cat litter, but never mind. And on top goes the mash. Then you're going to spread that out evenly. Just like packing dirt on top of the grave of that prostitute you just murdered. Now, no pie is complete without some cheese on top. Great enough to spread over the pie. And keep some handy as a little pre-dinner snack. It's up to you how much cheddar you want to put on top of your cottage pie, but I'm just going for a little sprinkle in there. Just a little cheeky dash of cheddar on top. Make sure that your oven is at 200 degrees, and in it goes. Look at that. Lovely, lovely cottage pie. It's really coming together. And by the way, if you're interested in purchasing this oven, it is in fact up on eBay as I'm trying to raise money for my charity, Merkins of Hope. So after yet again pouring myself a glass of Australian red while in the house by myself, I go back to 50 envelopes to, to read more of Andy G's capers with the pen. There you have it folks, lovely cotch pie, all ready to try. Let's just uh, get a little bit of it on the go here. Oh! Ah! Oh! I am rotten! Oh! I am rotten! Oh! Jeez! That's a third degree burns in that. Right, well, cotch pie is clearly done. Next week we'll be making naughty sausage casserole by special guest Beach Bomb McGee. Until then, take care. Good night. Thanks. Oh, Boosted. Get my glass of water.